Odd on foe but pet care presence. Allergies in dogs. Allergies are a misguided reaction to foreign substances by the body's immune system, which, of course, people and pets can suffer from. There are quite a few different types of allergies in dogs. They are skin allergies, food allergies, and environmental allergens. All pose challenges for dogs and their owners. And to make things more complicated, the symptoms of all these different types of allergies can overlap. Symptoms of allergies in dogs. The symptoms of allergies in dogs may vary depending on the cause. Here are some of the symptoms of allergies in dogs. Itchiness, diarrhea, sneezing, coughing, swelling of the ears, eyes, face, lips, ear flaps, constant licking. Allergic dermatitis in dogs. Skin allergies in dogs, known as allergic dermatitis, is the most common type of allergic reaction in dogs. Skin allergies in dogs are mainly caused by one of three things, fleas, food allergies, and environmental allergies. Flea allergy dermatitis is an allergic reaction to flea bites, and some dogs are allergic to flea saliva, which can cause their skin to become red, inflamed, or scab because their skin will feel extremely itchy. Just like humans can be allergic to certain foods or ingredients, dogs can be allergic, which can cause itchy skin. Dogs with food allergies usually have itchy ears or paws. Food allergies result in an immune response, which can range in symptoms from hives, facial swelling, and itchiness, to gastrointestinal signs like vomiting and diarrhea, or a combination of both. Environmental allergens can also affect the skin and be the cause of allergic dermatitis. Things like dust, pollen, fungus, and mold can cause these reactions, but in most cases, these allergies are seasonal. All skin allergies pose a risk of secondary infection. As your dog scratches, bites, and licks at his skin, he risks opening up his skin to yeast and bacterial infections that may require treatment. Urticaria, or hives, in dogs. Also known as urticaria, Hives on dogs are very itchy, but are not life-threatening. This consists of itchy, swelled skin that usually looks like a red rash, edema of face or throat, swelling of the throat or face looks severe, but it's actually almost never fatal. This area of swelling, which can also include swelling of the eyelids or ear flaps, is known as angioneurotic edema. It's actually pretty easily treated, and despite how it looks, after exposure to an allergen, it may take a day or two for the swelling to subside. Anaphylactic shock, perhaps the most alarming of all the types of allergic reactions in dogs is anaphylactic shock, like people. Dogs can go into anaphylactic shock if they have a severe reaction to an allergen, dropping their dog's blood pressure rapidly and sending them into shock. This can be fatal if not treated but luckily, anaphylactic reactions are rare in dogs. This can be a response to any allergen, most commonly be or wasp stings or vaccine reactions. Because of this, your vet will always recommend keeping a close eye on your dog after they've been given any new vaccine. Treating allergies in dogs. The best way to treat an allergy is avoidance of the cause. An allergen, which may not always be possible. The type of treatment depends on the type of allergy your dog has. For example, the best way to treat flea allergy dermatitis is to kill the fleas, whereas the best way to treat a food allergy or food intolerance is a change in diet, depending on the cause and severity of your dog's allergic reaction. Your veterinarian will prescribe different things. If your dog has a severe allergic reaction, your best course of action is to get them to an emergency veterinary hospital as quickly as possible. Therefore, do not attempt to diagnose your dog without veterinary assistance. 
follow your veterinarian's advice very closely to successfully relieve your pet's discomfort. Until next time, thanks for watching.